सो हेलो गाइस दिस इज शुभम भारद्वाज वेलकम बैक विद एन अनदर वीडियो ऑफ सेल्स फॉर गिग चैनल सो गाइस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू क्रिएट मल्टीपल फील्ड्स विद अ सिंगल क्लिक एज यू आर क्लियर विद द थंबनेल ऑफ दिस वीडियो सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फॉर दैट वी आर आई एम क्रिएटिंग अ सिनेरियो व्हिच इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू लाइक सब्सक्राइबर इज अ टेबल व्हिच इज अ ऑब्जेक्ट एंड ऑल दीज आर द सेवन फील्ड्स of this subscriber object like subscriber name subscriber email subscriber phone and below are the uh, data types of these fields okay so for that we are using a tool a very impressive tool uh, we have to type fields field creator dot heroku uh, i will put out the link in the description box you can check it out from there so click on this website after that you will uh, see this kind of interface uh, uh, you are you, uh, you have to use this uh, environment like you have to choose a developer if you are using a developer org so as i am working in a developer org right now so i choose developer org here so as i already logged in into my developer org it uh, after clicking on uh, developer it will redirect me to the uh, allow service page like uh, you have to allow this tool into your salesforce org so i simply click on login and as i say it will uh, asking for the ss so we simply allow it so for getting objects we have to uh, click on the query list objects and uh, from this drop down menu you, you will see all the salesforce objects in your orgs in your org so uh, as you see uh, right now there is no salesforce uh, there is no subscriber object over there so we have to create a object in salesforce org so simply let's create a custom object uh let's say subscriber and here i am saying subscriber number and let's say it's a auto number and let's say s i am providing an auto number here and starting number is from 1 and simply click on save so as you see right now there is uh, only four fields which are standard fields of a object when we create it so let's move back to the Uh, field creator dot heroku dot dot com. So here you we have to refresh objects and profiles. Click on it. And now uh, in the drop down menu, let's search for subscriber. As you clearly see, we are having our subscriber object here. Click on it. and now you will see this kind of interface uh, on your computer screen so let's get, let's start creating salesforce field so our first field is subscriber name so we sim i simply type subscriber name and simply this is a text now i'm adding a row and type my another field which is subscriber email which is a email uh, adding a row subscriber phone which is a phone field subscriber interest 
uh, it is a pick list and click on add it now you have to enter the pick list values so uh, development developer development and let's say administrator so for now save on click on save and if you want to change any or edit something in, in your field like you have to provide this uh, subscriber name as a required field you can click on require and everything like uh, case insensitive case sensitive uh, anything you can give description of the field over there like click on save and simply now I am adding all my remaining three fields so which are subscriber trailer URL so it's a URL after that I'm creating another field which is a new to Salesforce is a checkbox a checkbox and simply uh, make the default is unchecked and click on save after uh, our last row which is any comment oh, which is a te uh, rich text area so basically all our fields are added on it now what we have to do uh, simply click on deploy fields so okay as uh, it is say visible line must be greater than 10 so let's move back to the close it and all, all the respective six fields are successfully created as you see now move back and see what's the problem here click on edit ok now in this I create on 10 and simply save it and uh, as I created earlier, above 6 fields so I delete them and uh, deploy this field as you see this is also successfully created let's close it and uh, let's move to our subscriber object and see whether our seven fields are created successfully or not let's refresh it so as you see our uh, seven fields are successfully created so this is a really a time saver way to create salesforce fields but uh, the, as this tool is having some uh, limited limitations uh, that as you see in the task type uh, or field types you are not able to see a formula field a lookup master detail roll up summary and extra there are a lot of fields which are not created by this tool so for now uh, this tool will save your time if you are creating these kind of fields so uh, my friend Lakhan uh, introduced me this tool so thank you Lakhan for introducing this tool to me so I am creating this video just to uh, make this reach to more people to reach out this tool to more people so thank you guys for watching this video and you can subscribe our channel for more such interesting videos and thank you